What is going on guys? OP back again and we're going to open up some premium battle packs. I signed up for Battlefield Premium about a week and a half ago. Starting the video right here because this is when I was going to scrap. But I got asked by several people, what did you get when you signed up with your premium battle packs? You know, you get eight packs all together. These are the ones right here, not counting the one I just scrapped. So I had had quite a few people um, ask me after I had done my deluxe edition early enlister battle packs, you know, that had interest in it. You know, hey, what did you get when you signed up for premium? I think everybody's kind of curious. Do you get the same things or not? I don't think you do, but you can see right here, there's our first legendary pull. And I'm doing this commentary after I've already opened these. So I can tell you right now one thing. It seems very, very sure that they want to reward you for signing up for premium. Because there are a lot of legendaries in this video. And I don't think that should be a weigh-in factor in if you're going to get premium or not. Just for battle packs. And you can see right here, boom. I mean, back to back. Love this gun. It's cool to have a legendary for it. But two legendaries in a row. You know eight battle packs if you were gonna sign up for premium anyway then cool that is an awesome bonus you know that you're gonna get these battle packs but don't let it be something that you feel like is justification for spending that money you know i like the new maps i like the new game mode front lines but to be honest i don't like the direction the game is going in a lot of ways boom there you go you can see right there another cool gun that i love actually probably my second favorite pistol no legendary but yeah if you are going to actually play the game and you're going to get your money's worth then by all means you need premium um i've had a lot of fun playing the new dlc and all that but that's totally opinion based i'm not going to tell you spend your own money uh, i don't like the mo 2.0 and i don't like the way that a lot of stuff is going with trying to make the game basically more casual it's not as much skill as it used to but that's for another video I'm not really going to get into that too much um it's just kind of disappointing in a lot of ways and see you right there another legendary and i've been playing in the double xp event with the early access and it has been really really cool uh getting a ton of xp with that and i think now altogether i have seven squad boost xps to use when this runs out so i've been pulling those a lot more than i used to and uh, they used to really really separate those out but not so much now there you go with the distinguished we didn't we didn't pop a legendary there but you know hey what what can you say and also in this video i finally complete another puzzle uh finally we we won't even get into that just struggle we'll uh we'll talk about that when it gets here in just a second i am glad that dice added in some new puzzles I think that the bill hook and the sword are really, really cool. Uh, it gives people a reason to actually kind of care about the battle packs again. There you go. That is the one. I have been trying to get this stupid bludgeon since the game launched. I mean, I had the sawtooth completed, I think, about four days after the game released. And I have gotten enough legendary pieces for the sawtooth to build it two more times since then. I've just scrapped them. And finally, I've been sitting on four pieces of that stupid bludgeon for months. And finally got the fifth one in this video. So able to build it. Pretty tickled about that. But yeah, it's it's cool that they've added some new stuff. And like the, the let's see, there you go again. Stupid sawtooth. But the new weapon variants for the level 10 guns was a great idea. Kind of rewards players for the grind, uh, for sticking with the game. And here you can see... The exchange they've added now so you can actually trade scrap in for a couple of different things a week that you really want and here is the bill hook and the saber as well that i was talking about are some really new cool puzzles they've added we've had the sawtooth forever and now we've got the bludgeon so we'll be ditching the sawtooth i think i've got two stars with it so time to move on and i think that you know a few of these things are, are really really good ideas i wish they would do something with war bonds to be able to trade in for scrap or something like that uh, after some point they kind of just become useless so thanks for watching hope you guys had good luck with yours peace